Hey, it's Amanda, and whether you bake as a business or a hobby, I am here to help just because. Today, I am sharing three tips on how to host a wedding cake consultation or a cake tasting. So when I used to sell wedding cakes, I would always stress out when it came to the cake tasting portion. I would think, where do I host this? How do I look professional? And how do I provide the best client experience? So after countless cake tastings, I figured out what works, how you can be super efficient, professional, and how to turn your brides into clients. Tip number one, like all things in business, you must batch work. I definitely do not recommend baking and filling cakes every single time you have a new consultation. I know a lot of bakers who will make sheet cakes or square cakes cut them into slices and then individually wrap and freeze them. Tip number two, be personal. Make your clients feel extra special by doing one thing, ask questions. People love sharing their stories and it allows you to create connection points and bond with them as well. Ask them about how they met, how wedding planning is going and what they are most excited about. So I remember during one of my consultations, I found out that the bride loved baking too. And she had this really cool idea of hosting a cake decorating class for her bridal shower. I thought, why don't I teach it for you? And she loved the idea so much that she ended up booking me for her bridal shower and her wedding. By asking questions, you not only create an authentic relationship with your client, but you can also create amazing opportunities for yourself as well. Tip number three, follow up. Now this is the most important thing you can do after your cake consultation. Send an email or even a text thanking them for their time and mention something personal, such as how you loved the proposal story, how much you loved the dress, or even something funny that their partner said. Remind them of the flavors they liked and any other important information just as a quick recap. It is a huge turnoff when vendors don't communicate well. So my rule of thumb is to always over communicate and let them know that if they book with you, they're going to be well taken care of. So those are three of my top tips on how to host a cake tasting or consultation. If you want to see all 10 of my tips though, make sure to grab my free cake tasting guide download below. If you implement any of these tips in your next consultation, let me know in the comments below. If you have any of your own tips to share as well, please comment and help a fellow baker out. Did you like this video? Be sure to click like, hit subscribe, and if you want weekly baking inspiration and advice from me, be sure to sign up for my email list.